alright guys in this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to use container as a material UI now container basically wraps up and your content and components horizontally it centers horizontally now that tool you can import container for material UI in react so first of all let's let me show you the first way you can do it so you can import container from at material UI slash core slash container okay then we can use it in our app after importing it we can see con container then let's put some like a um, hello world so um, I've, 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 um, I've run the server already so we'll just save it then we can go to the browser they can see hello world right here and then the second one we can import container is to destruct and uh, structuring so let us do this import container from at material ui slash core okay, so the difference between these two is that instead of the words i'm adding this container right here we don't destructure it we bring it out through here so we don't need to add slash container right here so let's just um, comment this away and let's run it to see how if it still works so i'm um, compiling down here okay as you can see the same thing so um, there are two types of container we have fluid and fixed so uh, i'm just gonna give this a a fixed and i'm going to give the um a style and a background color a background color of let's say red so this will use css styles in um, in react js style equals to two curly brushes and the function here for style anything so fixed right so let's go ahead and save that then we have this as you can see like it's not really stretching up to the end of the screen it has a fixed size so i'll be showing you something about that so the second one is fluid so let's just take another container and we have the max max with the cost to let's say to false for now then let's give it a style and background color um, of green then we can say um also this is a a max width or closely a fluid container then yeah we can write this is a a fixed container okay so let's save this and run it okay so as you can see now, the difference between a fixed container and a fluid container is that a fixed have a fixed width but the um fluid container um, it takes um, 100 percent of the screen so um, how does that happen like what is going on behind this thing so let's um, inspect this to our um, inspect tool right here so let's, um, let's bring this down okay so let's inspect it and see what is is really going on let's bring this up a little up okay so um the style is here so for this um for this component right here and we have a maximum width of one to eight zero pixel so um i have an um, article here from material you are um, about breakpoints so this is going to teach just how to, um, how things are actually going on behind the scene so okay let's go back here 
So for this fixed container, we have um, a max width of LG, which is um, for large screen. But for this other com um, container here, we don't have any max width. That's because we set our max width to false. There's no max width for it. So for this div here, we have max width length. And now for length here, material you have um, breakpoint is 1280 pixel. So that's why the max width is 1280 pixel. Do you understand that? So, and by default, when you set a um, container to fixed, the max width is is because to LG. It's just like you are doing something like max width and equals to LG. That that's how it is. And I add the def and the default default code for it. Okay, so let's check check out some things. So now, um, difference between fixed container and fixed container. So let's just bring this to the side back. Okay. So right here, um, for this first container, the fixed container. Right now, we have a max width of nine sixty. Now that because, <laughs> like, when this was down here, this size was a, it was a large screen. But now, when we put this to this side, I mean, that's taking some space, and that makes it. 960 now come to the breakpoint here 960 is a medium screen so right now we have a medium screen here and the max width is close to 960 so let's see what happens if we go below 960 i'm looking at all these numbers here we can just skip on dragging it down so now let's see what happens if we go below 960 now we are nine okay there now the max width change to 600 and 600 is the next breakpoint, which is for a small screen. Now, let's see what happens if you go below 600. Okay, so right now we're in 925 right here. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm going below 600. Okay, I think it just happened. Yeah, okay. Mm, okay. Okay, right now, like we don't have any max width again, and that's because from 600 below is a small screen, and there's there's nothing else. But as you can see, um, our fluid container remains constant, like nothing happened, like it doesn't change. Look, lost, lost, lost V. It and this this right here is our fluid container. So let's click on it. But as you can see right here, that there's there's no a max width for our fluid container. That's because we set max width equals to false. So no matter which screen size we are, it's going to be hundred percent. It's going to fill up the whole screen. Now let's see that um, as the fluid, fluid container changes, it still remains constant. It doesn't change because there's no max width for it. You can see again, it doesn't change. Okay, so let's go back to our code. Here. So by default, um, a, a max width, okay, um, is basically, uh, basically um, a large screen. Like it's the same as, um, if we had to put um, a large, um, extra large screen here. So let's go back to that. Um, it's basically the same thing. If, um, if force is the same with large screen because that is like the um, highest point you can ever go. If we check here, like. Um, and an um, extra last scan like, is like the highest point you can go. So setting to force or setting to um, extra large is still the same thing. So as you can see, even though we're to, uh, to drag it in, it's still going to be the same thing. It doesn't change. So let me know um, in the comment box below what you feel about um, a fixed container and a filled container. Like I want to know what you think about it. Like the problems we have in using any of these. So comment down below and let me know your opinions.